good day, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we come along, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, on this beautiful Friday, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody that's on on this phone line right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that's in need of prayer, Heavenly Father. Noreen, Heavenly Father, Jesus, whose friends are, are going through something, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with their grandparents, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for them. I pray for Noreen, uh, for for our lowest Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what she's going through, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. My cousin Rodney, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Everybody who asked me to pray for them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that couldn't make it on the line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Please bless them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for we know that we always don't have it our way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But there is your way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and you know what's best for us even when we're praying to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you said within your word that put you first, you will provide us for all our wants and needs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, upon your word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you bless us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with our wants and needs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody who's going through something with the president, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for the immigrants, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that they be covered, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as they come to America to try to make their way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and try to better themselves for their family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that as this country is being divided, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, it don't only happen in this country, it's happening all over the world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but as we focus on this country, being in this country, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you make a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for you know there's ministries out here and movements out here that's making a way and trying to Go about you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and do things within you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and put your word out there, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in this hateful world, Heavenly Father. So I just pray that you bless single, saved, and serious, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the Christian lounge experience, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we try to bring artists in to showcase their talents, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so that they can be the next or uh, uh, beyond chance to rap a Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, who went upon, went upon being on Grammys, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with no record label, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, independent, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, avoiding selling his soul to the devil, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We're trying to bring that about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that you bless us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with the ideas that we come about to spread your word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Holy Heavenly Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, for Tanisha, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she's trying, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to do what she's doing with the nonprofit, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and she's frustrated and confused, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, dealing with people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you put the Holy Spirit within her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she goes about trying to do things independently, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, trying to have her own business, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that that frustration, Heavenly Father, turns into restoration, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you restore her soul, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and let her know that all things apply through you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and not people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You are the source that brings other sources, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You are the focus that brings other people to focus, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So everything that you do within you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, comes through the glory of you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and comes from you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you cover her heart and her mind, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she goes about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that she's passionate about what she's going through, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that the, the, the gift that you've given her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that I told her that she had, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, don't go across Charlotte or social media. It goes across the world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As she has the words, 
as the encouragement to touch people and change people's lives. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. At work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In the streets, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In the church, wherever she goes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She has the ability, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to change lives and mindsets, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That's why I called upon her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because I see in her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through you what she could do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that the focus stays about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody who's on this prayer line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, even the ones that are calling in and at work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that can't say a word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Maybe yeah. because of the fear of the enemy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what the enemy is saying to them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to say, Heavenly Father, but as you see what I do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, if I'm at work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, hey, i got to take a minute, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to call upon prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Because i got to call upon you the things that you're doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray that people see what I'm doing and see you through what I'm doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I'm not perfect, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I don't try to be perfect, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I come as myself, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But I come to you over myself, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Because I know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that I could not do anything without you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Even when I try, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I get more frustrated, discouraged, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I get more hateful, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. It's just so much that comes within me that I have no choice but to come to you and pray, Heavenly Father. I say, Heavenly Father... Take the wheel, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I need you right now. I'm getting torn. I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting miserable, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I need you, Heavenly Father. Then the Holy Spirit comes, Heavenly Father, and I'm clear, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you have reached my soul, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that others can apply that from seeing me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as you know what I'm dealing with with my son, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Seven years, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Seven years old, Heavenly Father, suspended for ten days, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Don't even know the effect that he's going to have growing older, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But I know through your glory, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, his life will be in abundance, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The lives will change the world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray that he sees me as being an example, as he sees me going different places, praying over people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As he sees me throwing events, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And with what I'm doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you cover his mother spiritually, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that she's confused and frustrated and doesn't have any help, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you bring sources to what I Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. Spiritual sources, Heavenly Father, spiritual providers, spiritual guidance, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in order to cover her as she's helpless, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and not knowing which way to go, Heavenly Father, as she tries to take control, but has no control, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray that you cover her, Heavenly Father, cover her mind, her ears, her body, her soul, everything, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Keep the enemy far away from her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She needs help, Heavenly Father, as my son is going through and don't even know what he's going through, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You know what I went through as a child, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But I had better guidance, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you bring about what I had, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as you saw what I went through as a child, Heavenly Father, and I see that he's going through worse than what I'm going through, what I went through as a child, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The difference is he don't know, and I knew, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as he goes to school, Heavenly Father, even when I don't cover him, Heavenly Father, even when I think everything is okay and it's not, Heavenly Father, that somebody else is in the midst praying for him and praying for us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as I close this prayer, Heavenly Father, I pray for next week. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, his family is coming in town. Heavenly Father, friends are coming in town. Heavenly Father, I pray that you cover Grandmaster D. Heavenly Father, my family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what he's doing, Heavenly Father, for the community, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and for your word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. He didn't have to come down here to say praise the Lord, Heavenly Father, and and saying God is good, and I'm doing this for the Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what you're doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that he probably doesn't even see, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For I see, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what's going on, Heavenly Father. So I just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for giving us the ability to bring him down, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to bless the doghouse bar and grill, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to bless Charlotte, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and the people too come in, who are coming in, Charlotte, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that don't want to go to secular clubs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, hearing people screaming, yelling, and drinking all over the place, Heavenly Father, for we're in no judgment zone, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but everybody don't want to hear that, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, trap wrapping, disrespectful spirits, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, they want to see something new. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through your will, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that what we're bringing new to the table, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, media coverage, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, radio coverage, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everything that you have within our minds, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, comes about as we try, as we're dealing with people. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that you cover us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we go through dealing with different people who want money, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, who are asking for more money, who are trying to get rich off of CIAA, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, when CIAA is all about unity in the community, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that it brings you, Heavenly Father, it brings Christ, Heavenly Father, as Chucky Jacob said, as people know as Pastor Jay from Next Level Ministry, as he's going to be selling T-shirts, Christ is always available, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Well, we're bringing that to the doghouse of our grill, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Your availability, for they not get the idea that it's a bar and grill, but they get the idea that Jesus goes everywhere, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. He just don't go to the church, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You just can't save souls in church, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Well, you got to save souls in the streets. So somebody might be wanting to come in and say, I want a beer. I want to hear trap rap. And they hear you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we try to touch souls, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you touch through us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray to you and we say to you, Amen. 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 Yeah, I'm on the phone. Good morning. I'm sorry, yes, I was just about to say I heard many people sign in and um and we didn't get any prayer requests if there were, so um, go ahead. Who's this that was talking? Drew, Grandmaster D. Chris, are you on the line? Good morning, Drew. How are you? I'm okay. I'm wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah, I just heard someone else. I um, heard another bell. Any, who else is on the line? Okay. All right. We have sometimes people want to come in and they don't want to say anything. But if there anyone that has a prayer request, Please let us know what that is. If you need prayer, if you're asking God for a specific thing, we want to stand in agreement with you. We want to stand. The Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree? And we want to agree with you on your prayer request. So if anyone has a prayer request, please feel free to let us know at this time. Yeah, this is Grandmaster D. Drew. I need a prayer for my brother. I'm going to meet with his doctors at 2 o'clock today. And yeah, he has cancer right now, so I'm in Boston right now with my family. Okay, all right, thank you. We will pray for your brother. Um, 
Actually, we'll continue to pray for your brother because we do know about that, that God um, touched his body and worked with these doctors. Anyone else that has a prayer request? Hi, yes, my name is Ann. Um, I was calling in with a prayer request concerning um, restorage in my family. Uh, I have a daughter who's not speaking to me and um, a fiancé who's um, dealing with the issues of my other two children. Okay. We're praying for children this morning. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, um, this is Jennifer. Please pray for Pastor Alan Campbell, who has been diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. The doctors are saying no, but we're believing God for yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Mm, yes, Jennifer, and you have let me know about that, but I will, we again, we keep bombarding the gates of heaven over um, these, these prayer requests and the healing. Anyone else? Okay, I did get one this morning from my friend Stacy. She is still going through with her health conditions. We have a lot of people battling in their health world, and, and you know, Satan seeks to take people out. Satan seeks to make people unproductive and unavailable for what God has for them to do. And so we come against these illnesses, against these conditions, against these things that don't allow people to do, don't allow people to live their lives fully or enable to do what God has given them as gifts and talents to do. So we're going to take this before the Lord. Um, I'm reminded of that scripture that says, by his stripes we are healed. And we have to understand that God took those stripes right before he hung on the cross in order that we may receive healing, the opposite of what he got, which was scars and wounds and open wounds and, and sickness. We can receive healing because of what he did for us. So let me just go ahead and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you first and foremost that we opened our eyes this morning, that we are alive and well, that we are able to come before you and bring these prayer requests, bring these people, bring this prayer line forward for those who need it, Lord. Dear Lord, we thank you, but my heart is heavy this morning. I just feel the heaviness of the amount of prayer requests over health, Lord, over sickness, Lord, over illness. Heavenly Father, you died on the cross that we may have life and have it more abundantly, Heavenly Father. So I'm asking that your healing power go forth, Lord. Please, in the precious name of Jesus, I'm asking that in the hospital rooms, in the rehab rooms, in whatever doctor's offices that everyone is in, Lord, we have Grandmaster D's brother, Lord, that is back at the doctors, and we ask that there be health, Lord. We ask that there be hope, Lord. We ask that there be answers that will be able to turn these situations around. Dear Heavenly Father, we go just, I'm just about to lay prostrate before you because I believe someone has to stand in the gap, and I understand health conditions of nobody else. I understand battling health conditions, and I know you have put me back up on my seat, Lord, Heavenly Father, to be a testimony to what you are more than able to do, Heavenly Father. You have made me a testimony with my vision, with my hearing, with my mobility, with everything that Satan tried to take away from me. You have made me a testimony, and so I stand in the gap for my other brothers and sisters who are going through. Dear Heavenly Father, Grandmaster D's brother, Lord, we ask that you give them answers. We ask that there be solutions. We ask that there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, Pastor Campbell with stage 4 pancreatic cancer, we believe for health Lord, I've seen you turn situations around that no one thought would ever turn around. I've seen you do it, and so I stand with faith, Lord, with these others, and we touch and agree, Lord, and we agree in Jesus' name that health is going to go forward. If everyone can, just say it. Health go forward. Health go forward. 
In Jesus' name we pray, and we ask that this be done, Lord, to your mighty glory. We are going to come back with testimonies to be able to say this is our God who is able to do what other people thought was impossible, but we know that you can do it in the mighty name. Dear Heavenly Father, a woman on the line talking about her daughter and the other children, we ask whatever the needs are, Heavenly Father, meet those needs. We know you have it. You said we're to have life and have it more abundantly, Lord, and these things that seek to limit us, these things that seek to stop us and our children. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you remove these things, and we rebuke Satan from the lives of children. We rebuke Satan from the help of people's lives. You have things that people are supposed to do, and we need them to rise up, Heavenly Father, from their sick bed to the amazement of doctors, Lord, and able to go forward and say, this is what God has has done for me. I have another day on this earth because of what God has done for me. I know I'm about to run around my living room because I remember the day and the time that I laid in a bed and I asked God, is this all you have for me? And my 30s cut down from whatever I was trying to do. And God said, no, I have so much more for you to do. And so Heavenly Father, I know there is more that these children and these people and that pastor is supposed to do. There's more words of wisdom. There's more acts of kindness. There's more acts of success coming for these people. It is not over. It is not the end. It is not what the Satan is going to say. It is not what the doctors say. Lord, again, it is only what you say. And we call on you and we believe in you that your word is going to be the last word, Heavenly Father. We, uh, we all stand here and agree, Lord, that this is what we're asking for. And we are not budging, Heavenly Father. This month I'm on a Daniel fast, Lord, and I have been turning down my plate because I want to hear the praise reports, Lord. I want to hear that your power is going forth in this world. I'm tired of hearing, oh, I can't make it. Oh, I'm not good. I'm not doing I want to hear overcoming. You said that we are more than a conqueror. You said that you are a mighty tower where the, the righteous run in and we are safe. And so I am quoting your word back to you, Heavenly Father. I am calling your word. You said it cannot drop to the ground void. And so, Heavenly Father, we ask that the voids be filled in these lives. We ask that the help be filled up to overflowing, that we will not be able to um, believe our ears in the mighty name of Jesus. We call down these things. You said that you said we have love, power, and of a sound mind. That's what you've given to us. And dear Heavenly Father, I know that you're able to give us power power to go and touch that person in the hospital room and say, thy will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. We are able to lay our hands on our children, opening up a new bottle of oil and say, you are anointed and covered and Satan cannot take you from us, Lord. You are covered in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray these things. I pray these things, Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for your ability to do and show your power forth in this world. Convict some people, Lord. Change some people's minds because we're going to talk about miracles that people will not be able to understand except they have to say that's God Almighty. And I pray these things in the masses, the masses, and no other name greater than Jesus. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I need everyone to understand. And I'm going to tell you a little praise report. I haven't heard everything back. My brother, over a year ago, had to be put on dialysis. He had no liver function and he had no kidney function. And I'm telling you, it was the roughest year. And we continue to pray. We continue to pray. And the doctors have now said it's a glimmer of hope that his kidneys have begun to refunction. I have never heard of anybody on dialysis where their kidneys have begun to refunction after 20 years of diabetes. So we know that we serve an awesome God. We know he is able. I tell you that story to encourage you today. The last word is God's word. Do not allow anyone to deter you. The last word is God's word. Hold on to it. Quote them scriptures over those children. Quote the scriptures over the person. 
and believe in your heart and don't give up. Don't give up. Amen. Mm. Yes. Chris, you there? I'm here. Chris, can you Amen. Um, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Lord. Chris, you want to say a little prayer? Yeah, if you want to, you know, say a prayer for your brother right now, he's going through some serious uh, situations. The doctor says he's cancer, but God is a healer. We, we, we serve Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Yes, Alpha. we do. And we know God can do anything but fail. And we lift up our brother Todd and pray for him that God does a miracle and let Amen. people know that he's still in the miracle working business. Amen. 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 We all touch and agree, and I, and I, I, I said it early. Healing go forward. Healing go forward. We are going to stand in this gap, and at everything. I even touched the doctors this morning, Lord, because sometimes it's a doctor that is the way that the healing comes forward. It's a doctor's mind that God has touched. Don't think that these people do these things on their own. It is God that even touches the doctors. So we ask that, you know, we, we, um, Chuck and I got into a habit that whenever we did anything, we would pray. We prayed with doctors. We prayed with specialists. We prayed if you came in the room, we prayed with you so that everybody that touched that person was covered in prayer, and we all touched and agreed. So I just ask this morning that you walk in the calling God has for you. If you are a believer, walk in the calling. It is your power. God is is able to give you the power. So walk in and say, in Jesus' name, we believe. And so I, I just want to encourage everyone today. I know it's frightening to get these reports. I have been through some reports in my own life, and I've had to believe God. The Bible says, whose report will we believe? We believe God. So this morning, I just want to encourage you. We, um, if there's anyone else that would like to pray, please go ahead and pray. But I'm still in the spirit of healing going forward this morning. I'm going to stay in the spirit. You can't see me, but I am laying on this floor right now saying, God, healing go forward for those on this line. So if anyone else would like to pray, please feel free. This is group prayer, and we pray with one another and for one another. So Chris, you... go ahead and uh, say a prayer. I think Chris was about to say a prayer, so if you are in, uh, if you feel led to pray, go ahead and pray. Mm-hmm. Amen, amen. Mm-hmm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, letting us see a day we never saw before. Lord, we ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to forgive us of all of our yes, sins, Lord. all of our transgressions, all of our iniquities. Yes, Lord. Lord and our yes. fall feet to our needs. And, Lord, just hear our prayer right now. Lord, we say you said the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous one availeth much. Yes. Lord, we ask you right now, yes, we Lord. stand in proxy for our brother Todd. We're praying that, Lord, you just touch his body, touch his mind, touch his spirit. Lord, as he goes yes. into the operation, Lord, let the doctors, Lord, not be themselves, but, Lord, work through them, Lord. Work through their hands. Work through their minds. Work through their spirits. Touch and charge. Healing him in the name of Jesus. Taking out this cancer. Taking it, taking it away yes, out of his body forever in the name mm-hmm. of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are a healer. You are a doctor that never lost a patient. Father God, operate on him like you did. Adam, taken out to rib to create Eve, Father God, and he woke up in the mist, and they had no pain, had no problem, he had no scars. Father God, we ask you right now, do that same miracle for Todd. Heal his body from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Father God, we ask you right now, Lord, Lord, we don't need you tomorrow. We don't need you an hour from now. Lord, we need you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, there's so many people that's dealing with 
different diseases, different situations. Lord, you can do anything, Father God. You are omnipresent, Lord. Touch everyone that needs you right now in the name of Jesus. But, Lord, we just want you to touch Todd. Touch his mind, Lord, Father God. Let him feel the healing. Let him feel the operation that you're touching him with your finger of love. Lord, touch every bone in his body. Let the blood run warm in his veins. Let him feel life. Let him feel a new life. Let him feel that spirit life in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, when you heal him, let him know only you have touched him. Only you have healed him. Only you have saved him. Only you have touched his mind to let him know that God is in that operating room right now in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we ask you to touch his whole family. Let his whole family pray for him, Lord. Let his whole family know about prayer. Let his family know about knowing that they have to go to Jesus to get to you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father God, we just ask you right now to do this miracle for Todd, Lord. Lord, he came a long way. You know what he's been going through. You know everything about us, Lord. You know every strand of hair on our head, Lord. So, Father God, we ask you right now to just touch. Give him a miracle, Lord, Father God. Oh, Father God, we ask right now, hear our prayers, Lord. Lord, we know that we're not what we should be, but we're not what we used to be in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So, Lord, we yeah. just ask you to hear our prayer, Lord, Father God. We just thank you, Lord, for the victory. We thank you, Lord, for the healing. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the faith, knowing that we can come to you any time, any hour, any place, anywhere, praying to ask for your help, praying to ask for your blessings, praying to ask for your deliverance in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we ask you right now, touch Todd where he's at right now. Hallelujah. Touch him right now. And we claim the victory in his situation. We claim that the devil gets his hands off God's property right now in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Right now, dear Lord. Right now, Lord. Mm. Right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. We not have yes. to be commanded you so you get your hands off God's property right yes. now yes. in yes. the name of Jesus. So, mm. Lord, we just ask you, Lord, have we way, Lord. To and we thank you, Lord. Amen. And we claim this victory, Lord. We claim this victory, Lord. We claim it in the name in the name of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Thank you, Chris. Yes. yes. And family, family, family as, as my brother was praying, the Lord took me to a scripture that he had given me some years ago, found in Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, and it reads, And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. So let us walk in the power that God has placed inside of us, that when we go with our loved ones or we're dealing with people who have medical crises, we go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, speaking healing, salvation, and deliverance. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jennifer, for that. Thank you so much. Yes, Lord, we do have to walk in power. I I encourage everyone to continue to read scriptures where God will impart in you the mindset that we are able to have these things happen in this day. There are many who think, oh, the time of miracles, the time of healings, the time of of, of manifestations of God they're over and, and you know but we serve an awesome God he is not dead he is the same yesterday today and tomorrow he does not change he says my mercies are new every morning my loving kindness is new my grace is new and it is sufficient so we know that he is more than able we're just standing in the gap for those who are struck down at the moment but we know that God is able do not give up hope do not give up praying and, and anointing with oil and, and laying on of hands so that we are able to surround those with us with a spirit of healing that I know that God is able to do. God is able to do. Is there anyone else who would like to either say a word or pray this morning? Um, I have a small prayer. I mean, pray for Um I'm hearing the yes. prayers about the um, about the healing. And um, for last week, I went to my primary doctor because they said I had the flu. Um, she um, gave me some light symptoms, but I kept telling her that my throat was hurting. She took a strep throat um, that came back. Uh, the result, I went on Wednesday. Um, I called her on Thursday because I couldn't sleep 
Wednesday night. Uh, she gave me a shot in the office because I found out it was just a steroid shot, and I was thinking it was penicillin. I couldn't sleep. I tried to call her Thursday. She didn't return my call. Um, I called again. I emailed her on Friday. I still got no response. And I went all weekend. It kept feeling like my throat was closing up. So Monday mm. morning I got up and I kept praying. I just kept praying. I said, God, you got to help me. But it was so intense that at one point I couldn't pray no more. I just could not pray. So um, I called my doctor back again and spoke to her nurse. Her nurse said that she would have her to give me a call back. Well, I went through Monday night. Then Tuesday I could not breathe. I, just, I thought it was mm. my asthma because I have asthma. I couldn't breathe. So I went to work and I, went, I left work and went to the hospital. Well, when I got there, uh, it just, I just, my throat was so, it was still like it was just closed. And um, I could not talk. I couldn't pray. It was like the only thing I'm concentrating on is I need to breathe. So um, one of my uh, other pastors that I met, I started texting him, and he said, you know, I'm going into prayer right now. I went into the back. They told me because my doctor did not give me ongoing medicine, to um, help the condition with my throat, that I had got throat ulcers, which closed up my airways, uh, which caused me, it, um, it was a life-threatening situation. Oh Before goodness. they could um, give the medicine in me to open back up my throat waves, the pastor that I knew, uh, he kept texting me and telling me that he was praying. My airways started opening up before they could even give me the medicine. And I began to pray because I knew that God, I knew that God was there. And wow. I kept telling God that, God, I'm standing on your word. But I said, God, this is hard. When you're, when you're the person going through this and you're feeling the pain and you're feeling where you're at, it's hard that you know God is there. But you know God is a healer, but it's hard. It is really hard because you just say, God, heal me. Help me. And you know he's going to do it, but it's just like, when, God, I need it now because I can't breathe. I just feel like I couldn't mm. breathe at all. Mm. If yeah. God opened up my airways, they told me that the, my doctor misdiagnosed me. She did not take the oh. time to find out what was wrong with me. When the oh. hospital sent her my report on um, Tuesday, she calls me, personally calls me on Wednesday to apologize for her misdiagnosis because she found out it was a life-threatening situation. But, you know, through it all, you know, I even told her oh. I don't blame her. Because I felt like it was a miscommunication, I just thank God for healing. I thank yeah. God that I got to the hospital in time enough that they opened back up my airways. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. And to this day, I'm still on, I get, they got me on all these medicines. I'm still having some pain. I've been out of work all this week. But I'm still trusting God for healing because yesterday was the first day in a week I was able to talk and able to eat. My Lord, so my Lord. I know, I know, I know what God can do, and yes. I thank God for Him, and I thank God for the healing that is going to take place today. I thank God for all the prayers that went out for everyone that's on the prayer line, because I know that yes. God is a miracle worker. I do know that God said His word will not return to the void. I know that God said when two or more come together asking anything in yes, His name, yes. that He Amen. should do it. I know that yes, God is in the midst of this prayer line, and I know that God is already moving. I know that he's yes, already yes. touching those bodies. I know that God has already shrunk those cancers. I know yes. that God has already done the healing. I know that yes. it's going to be because God has proven himself over and over and over and again. Over again. And yes. it takes yes. the saints to come together and trust and believe him. And God will show up and show out. So I thank yes, God yes. for this. I thank God for the prayers. And I ask you guys to continue to pray for me and my family. Continue to pray for healing for everyone in this world. So much is going on. I look at the news yeah. and I see the kids getting killed. A two-year-old that just got shot down in Chicago and all these people just getting shot down for no reason. And yeah. I said, God, this world is just it's coming to an end. I know it is. I know you will return soon, but I just pray that God will be in the midst of these families, that God will take care of these children, that God will take care of, send out the healing and deliverance that needs to be done in this world. Yeah. So I thank God for the prayer line. I thank God for the message that came from Facebook. I thank God for yes. everything that you guys are doing, and please continue to stay strong and do that. Yes. I thank you so much for that praise report. We, we are encouraged and we are emboldened when people come and tell us how God has shown up. Um, I don't know if everyone heard, but with even my brother regaining some kidney function, 
we are encouraged and we continue to go and we continue to pray for full 100% recovery. So I just, again, we thank you for that because that helps us know that we can have hope, that God gives us yeah. hope and, and we walk by faith and not by the sight of the situation, not by what yes. it seems, not by what we feel it looks like, but we yes. walk by faith standing on the foundation of God's word. If, yes. if there's anyone else that would like to speak, this is the time we open it, like again, for prayer or praise reports or just a word that God may have laid on your heart. Yes. Well, if all hearts and minds are clear, um, Chuck, I was going to go ahead and let you close out, do a short okay. prayer and close um, out, and then um, go what ahead. I, what I was going to say is, uh, you know, as far as what uh, D is going through, you know, Judy was mentioning earlier about um, – about basically with the doctors and, you know, nurses and things came in. And uh, she was talking about my daddy when they basically came in and was saying that daddy had no hope or uh, some type of negative signs. What I do is I call them all in there and we'd all pray together, you know, and we'd all, you know, and after that I always watched. My daddy went through six strokes, five or six strokes, right? So I'd always watch, basically, when I knew that, you know, he was was about to pass or whatever, I knew, basically, that the the end results wouldn't be no good within the natural, right? Not spiritually, but within the natural. Um, I'd cover him in prayer, even when I wasn't there, uh, when I was about to leave the hospital room, I'd put on some gospel music, some Kirk Franklin or uh, Fred Hammond. I'd put on something spiritually so where he'd be covered, you know, because all th- I knew all type of different spirits would come in that room, and I didn't want any negative or any hateful spirits to come in that room and affect my daddy as he was getting closer to the Lord or what the Lord was yeah. trying to talk to him. If anybody knows me, I have a big mouth, and Daddy was the same way. Daddy, that's where I got it from. But I knew, like, within that last year period, I ain't going to hold y'all on, but I knew within that period of time when he lost his voice, you know, due to the first stroke, and he couldn't talk as much that God was just trying to talk to him. And I finally got the message that I needed for Daddy, and that's why I'm so much at peace, and I'm I'm grieving a lot differently than other people would would see. You know, other people would have an idea of my grievance. You know, I'm not as emotional because I know that God had everything done within His time. So I'm telling you that uh, the to tell you that God is going to do something within his time. And what you have to do is you have to be patient and just wait on God and see how he delivers and just accept what he delivers when he delivers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just be yeah. just be patient yeah. with God and just understand that God works within his own way and accept that. You know, because I, yeah. I, I went through... The same thing I went through to where my daddy, I never knew, nobody ever knew whether my daddy had cancer. They were trying to test him to see whether he had cancer, but they couldn't take him away from the room because if they took him away from the room, he'd die instantly. That's how, that's how bad naturally it was. They could never figure out what was wrong with him, period. Mm-hmm. So at least you have the blessing in order to know that your, your brother, you know, is, is having cancer. And so that's time for it to be removed, as that they can do everything within their power in order to remove that cancer. And that's only God. Mm-hmm. So anybody that, I know you far away from them, but just make sure that they come with them within good spirits. Make sure that he's around good spirits. When you talk to him, be in good spirits. Say a prayer. 
you know, tell them, yeah. Lord, just encourage them, you know, because yeah. they say that, that death is within the mind, right? So people who are already sick already think that they're going to die. Like when they think they're going to die, they're going to die, you know. So speak life, speak encouragement, speak love, mm-hmm. and watch how things change around. But anyway, I'm going to close in prayer. Um, I hope that, that I said something to you, my words said something to you. Um, if anybody else needs prayer or want to uh, wanna say a prayer, this is a group prayer line. Um, so we invite y'all to say a prayer. If you need a prayer, let me know as I close it out. Um, you know, I'm about to close it out right now, so let me know. All righty. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we go about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, praying for GMD, William Drew Carter, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and his family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I hope my word encouraged them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I hope my hope my word encouraged those who are listening in, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that can't say nothing because of the position that they're in right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I hope, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as people come about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that need prayer, Heavenly Father, that they utilize this prayer line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in order to pray, be prayed for, or prayed with, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, that everybody has an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, that everybody has an excellent week, Heavenly Father. I pray for a miracle this weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that even when people are out partying or whatever people are doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you're able to touch them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you're able to touch people within this prayer line in order to change people's lives, Heavenly Father, in order to change people's minds the way they think, the way they act, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. A young lady mentioned, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, how people are dying, Heavenly Father, being shot left and right, and that is true. Innocent people are being shot left and right, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, that as they're gone, they get closer to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, right now that what we're doing, what me, Judy, Jennifer, what GMD, and everybody within this prayer line is doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, especially upon single saves and serious, touch gang bangers, Heavenly Father, in the yes. name of Jesus. Because yes. that's what we're about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Touching the streets, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So as yes. they come in, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with their guns, with their pistols, with their knives, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever they come in with, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, like John T. T. does, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they put them within the table, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and say, I want to live my life with Christ, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. That's what we do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Just like the lady, the young lady who said, I need Christ at the bowling alley, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, when we were just bowling, Heavenly Father, and we explained what we do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She said, I wanted to be saved, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and we prayed over her being saved, and she got saved, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Just like when we was at Golden Corral, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And the young waitress, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the Hispanic waitress, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, who saw so many African Americans around, Heavenly Father, but saw what we were doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. When the African Americans were scared, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that were at work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and going about a different way and saying, I don't need prayer, I don't want prayer, or running away from what we were doing, she said, I need prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She stood in line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, held hands, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and said a prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that we touch the streets of Charlotte, Heavenly yes, Father, Heavenly in the name Father. Of Jesus. Amen. Same in Jesus' way, name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Wherever we walk, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Whatever we talk, yes, Heavenly Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. They say, I want you to pray for me because I want my life to change, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to cover chance for rapper, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. 
in, within the world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, within, within the music industry, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you continue to take stolen lunches, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as they go about Bible studies, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and words of encouragement, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you touch single saves and serious, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray for next week in the name of Jesus that we yes, shut Lord. Charlotte down, Heavenly mm, Father, thank in you, the Jesus, name of Jesus. Yes. We shut Charlotte down, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to where they don't want to pay for $25, $100 parking for one day to get rich, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For mm. they see mm-hmm. you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As Amen. we charge only $10, Heavenly Father, in the name mm. of Jesus. For all the money that we spend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that everybody goes about that small venue like it's a big venue, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Like they go throughout the clubs in the world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That the lines are packed, Heavenly Father, in yes. the name of Jesus. Just waiting to get in, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we bring the legend in town, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Grandmaster D, <laughs> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Who has hits like friends, yes, yes, freaks Lord. come out at night, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> One love, five minutes of funk amongst others, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you know I know the shows, Heavenly Father. I've seen shows. I've traveled with them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to see what they bring to the table or what he brings to the table as he pays homage to Jam Master J, Heavenly Father, where everybody put on social media, Run DMC was their favorite group, where they came with him, uh, Run DMC, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. They were right beside them and the Beastie Boys, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that Grandmaster D, William Drew Carter, comes and shut Charlotte down, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I love you. We love you. But God loves you. God loves you. Right, Amen. Folks. Everyone yeah, have a blessed and safe weekend. Yes, y'all do the same. Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah. All right. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you.